Are men and women overlooking blue collar workers because they're too arrogant? <laughs> Anyways, let's find out. Like, share, subscribe, do hit the bell for no case. Let's go ahead and get straight to it. All women need to position ourselves so that we can be in our divinity, so we can have our crowns right, how we can oh, create and not build. When some of us, quite frankly, feel that the men that are available to us, and I'm talking about across the color spectrum, across the age spectrum, yeah. trust me, I've done them all, um, they are not positioned to protect nor provide because of some of the statistics we just talked about. They're not earning the incomes. They're not having the resources, and some of them are not even showing up in the leadership. Would you date a bus driver? You. Would you date If he owns the bus, no. if he owns it. If wow, owns that's a wild entitlement. <laughs> Because the standards and requisite that we no, use to it. measure men is off for who mm. we are as women and who they are in this society. Mm. I would date a bus driver if he was, if he loved driving the bus, if he was <laughs> integrity, if he was good to his mama, if he treated me well, I would date a bus driver. This sound good. She said she would date a bus driver if he knew, if he loved driving that bus. <laughs> he gonna be the best bus driver that ever was. <laughs> In reality, though, a whole lot of black women are looking down on blue collar workers. You are an average at best anyway, so I don't know why you looking down on them. Why you looking past the stars when you've been settling for Ray Ray, Boo Boo, and Tyrone, which don't have a job? Yeah, you huh? shouldn't be looking down on these men anyway, because at least they can pay the bill. And if he doesn't own the bus, at least he's not riding the bus. At least the bus ain't his only source of transportation. And Ray Ray can't even pay for the bus. You're paying for it, sis. So be real with yourself. <laughs> As black people, do we feel there is a lack of appreciation for blue collar workers in the black community versus blue collar workers in the Mexican community and the white community? We hear these buzzwords in the black community, construction, security, etc., etc., blue collar shit. They automatically think somebody is struggling to pay their bills. Because when you hear security, when I say that, you probably automatically thought, to, thought the person at Denny's Discount, which I'm not because I used to work at Denny's Discount. You're not even knowing that. From the low end to the high end doing security, you can make in between $20,000 an hour to $300,000 an hour, $200,000 an hour. Those of y'all out there with your CCW and P282, you know what I'm talking about. Time to get your order. Are you giving them? No, you're no. Not. His character okay. is Okay, but you not have to goddamn You don't know. You might have to just... That is potential. No, no, no. Hold on one second, Queen. I'm going to tell you why it's potential. All right, you ready? Uh-uh. Take that Queen away. My first job was at McDonald's. Dang what that is. Yes, sir. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Women really just want to make money, your personality. In reality, you ain't never even seen no money. Y'all always want to come up when he's already a superstar. Like, in reality, check you loser. And you, my women, might uh, uh, what, understand what I'm saying. Uh, but you is only entitled to uh, Ray Ray Bubble and Tyrone. Uh, that's the only man ever. You ain't leveling up, boo. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video off here. Like, share, subscribe, do hit the bell for notification. And I will catch you next video. If you enjoyed this video, share it with a friend, share it with a family member, and I will catch you next video tomorrow. See you later. Okay, bye. <laughs>